All right, so here I'm going to talk a little bit about the axon growth cone. And here we have a neuronal cell. This is the axon. And this right here is the growth cone. And the growth cone basically serves the function in that it gives the neuronal cell directionality. And it allows it to locate target tissue. Okay, and this is um, determined the um, proteins that this growth cone comes in contact with. So here on the periphery of the growth cone, we have lamellopedia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Lamellipodia and philopodia. Okay, and basically, um, the lamellipodia uh, provide the major motile apparatus that allows the microfilaments and the actin filaments within this growth cone to turn towards the target tissue or towards the stimulus. The philopidia are sensory in nature. So one way that we can look, about, look at it is that philopodia feel their way, so they sense the environment, and lamellopedia is more of motor. Um, that they 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 organize the movement of this growth cone. Okay, so one way that we can look at it is that this growth cone does not move in one direction. Okay, this growth cone has these lamellopedia and these folipedia and this philopodia that allow the growth cone to feel its way along the substrate, which would be the target tissue. <clears throat> In this case, let's say a shoulder. So there would be proteins here within um, the shoulder region, which would send signals to the lamellopedia and the philopodia, which would allow this growth cone to find its way with turning and twisting until it finds its way to the target tissue. And basically the way that it finds its way to the target tissue is by means of elongation and contraction um, with a um, um, number of uh, philopodia extensions called microspikes. So what these microspikes do is that they attach to the substrate and they exert a force that pulls the rest of the cell forward. So kind of like sticky fingers and then you just pull it towards you. So these microspikes apart from attachment, also serves as a relay center for the neuronal cell, which it picks up sensory cues and it sends this information back to the cell body. So all this summarized in short is that basically the growth cone has the ability to sense the environment and translate the extracellular signals into a directed movement. This directed movement is accomplished by altering the cytoskeleton, which is this right here, the microfilaments and the actin, and the philopodia, the melopodia, all of that. It's by altering the cytoskeleton 
changing membrane growth and coordinating coordinating cell adhesion and cell movement by means of extracellular protein gradients. And we'll make another video and we'll talk a little more about these extracellular protein gradients that dictate the migration of the growth cone.